Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can turn your text into picture frame in Affinity Publisher. I post two tutorials like this per week, so please subscribe so you will not miss any. Alright, let's get started. Here I am in Affinity Publisher and I'm going to start with type tool. So we got text here that we can work with. For this kind of effect, I would rather recommend a boldy font for it. So large text with boldy font will do. And before I show you the technique how to turn text into the frame, let me just show you a trick first. Actually, we can put image inside the editable text like this without turning the text into picture frame. So here's my text. I'm going to stocks and from here I will pick image I like, maybe this one, and I drag it as image first. And then you need to put this layer kind of inside the text layer. Take a look. Clip it like this below. And now the editable text is masking my photo. Take a look. Inside. Outside. Inside. Alright, so now you kind of masking this image with your text. Advantage of this method is that the text is still text. It's not, uh, it's not picture frame just yet. So we can use it, we can edit the text and all of that. Alright, so that's the trick. Maybe this is enough for your needs. You actually don't need to turn your text into a picture frame. All right, take a look. I can even edit text with this image inside. Everything is responsive and editable. All right, that was the trick how you can mask image with the text. But now let's back to the main topic. How to turn text into image frame. After I right click on my text, as you can see, convert to picture frame is grayed out. I cannot click on that. So I need to convert to curves first. So now I got curves instead of text. And still I cannot convert to frame. Why? Because all letters are separately. You see, we got multiple different shapes for each letter one. So we must add them together. Right click, geometry and add. Now this is one shape finally, so we can ungroup that, ungroup, and now this one shape, right click, and now we are able to convert to picture frame. So here it is, it's picture frame, now I can drag picture inside. As you can see, it's exactly as any other picture frame, the circle one, or square one. In, that, in our case, it looks like a text. We already convert that to curves, so we cannot edit the text any longer. That's the downsides of this method comparing to the previous one with masking, All right? So after you convert your shapes to curves, you cannot modify the text. All right, let me undo a bit. And before we finish this tutorial, I will show you one more technique that is really popular nowadays. It's something like when you got the text and half of the text is like negative. It's making the hole in the image and half of the text is like image itself. It's hard to explain. Let me let me show you. All right. So I'm drawing this rectangle here with rectangle tool and I will put it only half like this half of the image of our artboard in this case. And now I got this text. Let's modify the color slightly so we can see it above this black layer. All right. And I will put it like kind of in the center. You need to pick one letter that is in the center and put it like this. Okay. Now we are ready to convert our text to curves. Done. And now we will ungroup the text so we can see each letter separately without group. That's good. We need to take care of the middle letter first. So select the letter and the black area, right click on both. And then in geometry, we will divide that. All right, now we can remove this. It's make a hole in this black thing already. So we don't need the letter. And now letters here above the black area, we will subtract them. So select together, geometry, subtract. So we make a hole in this shape. 
and remaining letters we will simply add them to this black shape. Right click geometry again add. All right, we got one more element here floating separately, this one inside O. So let's add this to the main shape of geometry again. Right click geometry add. And here it is, we got this shape made of rectangle and text. Now we will turn this into picture frame and we are free to drag and drop any picture you like inside. And take a look, it will behave like this. So on the left side, we can see picture and we got like negative letters. So we got hole in the picture. And on the right side, the letters continue with the texture from the picture. So it's really, really nice. All right, guys, hope it was helpful. And as I mentioned, the first method is really, really handy because we can still edit the text. So if you don't need to, don't turn your text into the picture frame. All right. Thank you for today. And I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye bye.